Disney's newest cruise ship, the Dream, has just set sail on its maiden voyage. And it was one truly spectacular celebration at sea. Starting with the christening. Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson, who got her start performing on the Disney Wonder, served as the ship's fairy godmother. I christen thee, Disney Dream. May God bless this ship and all who sail on her. The Dream is the largest ship in Disney Cruise Line's fleet, stretching more than 1,100 feet and 14 decks. This is where your dream cruise begins, right here in this beautiful lobby. And from the moment you step on board, you'll truly feel like you're living the dream. Please welcome this family. How beautiful. Magical details greet you at every turn. When you walk around, pieces of art will come alive. This puppy means we're on the villain's trail. Even the restaurants are interactive. Hello, you do. Disney is the only cruise line which have you rotating through all the restaurants and your entire server team is moving with you. The whole ship is kind of alive and vibrant. And luxury is brought to life in everything from the staterooms to the state-of-the-art Walt Disney Theater to the Census Spa and Fitness Center and the adults only areas like the district. The district really is, it comes alive at night time. We've got great DJs, we have a nice area called 687 which is a media lounge and then we have Pink which is our champagne bar and then we have Skyline which is really a unique entertainment offering. Another entertainment option you won't find anywhere else the aqueduct. You'll see slides on board a ship, but not like this. This is the first water coaster at sea. Another big wow during each and every Disney cruise, the fireworks. We're still the only company that has regular fireworks at sea. And now you don't even have to go all the way to Florida to enjoy a Disney cruise because the Wonder has hit the West Coast. Right now, the Wonder is cruising from the Port of Los Angeles to the Mexican Riviera. And just like the dream, it offers high sea adventures for kids of all ages. As I mentioned, we have spaces for each group, and we like people to be who they are. The kids can be themselves in their spaces, the families together, and then, of course, the adults as well. And uh, we have a lot of, uh, of multi-generational families, as you said. Uh, there'll be maybe a grand and grandma bringing their kids and their kids as well. And they want to have that space, that peace and quiet, where they can just read a book and, and relax, knowing that the rest of their family are being looked after and entertained and our counsellors will actually come down to all of the restaurants and pick up all of the children who want to come and join in with their activities up here in the club and lab and we'll bring them up and so the parents can enjoy the rest of their meal. Well, I think your date night should begin in the afternoon and I would suggest as a couple, take one of our uh, Vista Spa villas. You go in there as a couple, it's a beautiful reserved area with a view out to sea. You can have a couple's massage or azul treatment and then spend the rest of the afternoon in the hot tub, uh, out on the balcony sipping champagne, eating strawberries and just being grown-ups. Now Palo is, is right at the back of the ship on deck 10. It's a northern Italian menu. We have a real Italian chef there. Everything is made to order. Phenomenal range of drinks as well and as I said that is a reservations only, adults only space. All the time knowing of course that your kids are safe. They're, uh, they're in the kids club. You have a phone if uh, they need to contact you as well and you can pick them up between 12 and 1 o'clock as well. Starting in May, the Wonder will head north to Alaska for the summer, then it will return to California for the fall season. You've got the West Coast, you've got here, of course, Europe in the future, so multiple opportunities to come and see the Disney product. Bringing you the best of entertainment, I'm Audra Stafford for California Life.